Today we will learn about Microsoft Excel. Microsoft Excel is a popular spreadsheet component of Microsoft Office Suite, which allows you to store, organize, calculate and manipulate the available data. It is widely used to perform mathematical calculations. The data is spread in a tabular form consisting of rows and columns. It provides inbuilt features and tools such as formulas, functions and data analysis tools that make it easier to work with large amount of data. Let us discuss features of MS Excel. Formulas are mainly used for performing simple and complex mathematical calculations. Functions are the built-in formulas used for calculating percentage, interest, average, etc. Formatting features improve the appearance of data. The data is automatically recalculated in the entire worksheet if any change is made in a single cell. Data can be searched quickly and if required replaced instantly. Quick data entry can be done in a large series of cells by using the autofill option. Data can be viewed in a graphical form such as charts which help to understand, analyze and compare data in an effective manner. These advanced features have made Microsoft Excel the first choice for professionals to quickly perform lengthy accounting and financial tasks which help in taking prompt actions. Let us learn how to start Excel 2016. To start with Excel 2016, follow the given steps. Number 1. Click on Start. Number 2. Choose All Apps. Number 3. Click on Excel 2016. When you open Excel 2016, the Start screen appears. Select the blank workbook thumbnail from the screen. A new blank workbook named Book 1 will open before you. Let us learn about basic worksheet and worksheet concepts. The Excel window that appears on the screen is called a workbook. It is assigned a temporary name as Book 1. Workbook is like a notebook which consists of a number of pages called worksheets. A worksheet is a grid-like area made up of rows and columns where you can enter and work with data. By default, an Excel workbook displays a single worksheet with the name Sheet 1. We can add any number of worksheets in a workbook according to the limits of memory available on a computer. A worksheet consists of 1,48,576 rows and 16,384 columns. Columns are represented by alphabets on the top and rows by numbers on the left side of the worksheet. Time for the fact file. The first electronic spreadsheet was VisiCalc, which was created by Daniel Bricklin R. and Bob Frankston L. in the early 1980s. Note the fact that you can apply a background to the Excel sheet. Click on the Page Layout tab. Then go to Background option in the Page Setup group. Let us learn about various components of a worksheet. A cell is an intersection of a column and a row in a worksheet. Each cell is identified by its column letter and row number, which is known as cell address. For example, A5 refers to the cell at the intersection of column A and row 5. A cell is used to store data such as text, numbers, formulas, functions, etc. A cell can contain up to 32,767 characters. Active cell. When you click on a cell, a thick black border appears around it, which differentiates it from the rest of the cells. This highlighted box is called cell pointer. It indicates that the current cell is active. Data can be entered only in the active cell. Range. A range is a group of contiguous cells which form the shape of a rectangle. It can be as small as a single cell or as big as an entire worksheet. You can specify a range by writing the starting cell address followed by the ending cell address, both separated by a colon. For example, C1 is to C10 indicates a range starting from C1 cell address and ending in C10 cell address.
Name box. Name box is located just above the column, heading on the left side of the window. This area displays the location of the cell pointer. Formula bar. The formula bar is located to the right of the name box. This bar shows the characters and formulas that you enter in an active cell. Column headings. Alphabets across the top border of each worksheet are called column headings. These headings identify columns with letters A to Z, AA, AZ, BA, BZ, XAA, XFT. Every worksheet in Excel contains 16,384 columns. Row headings. Row headings are the numbers marked from 1 to 1,48,576 along the left border of the worksheet to represent each row of it. Status bar. The status bar is located at the bottom of the Excel window. It gives us information about the current selection. It includes the name of the currently selected command or current activity. It also displays warning messages. Let us learn how to move around the spreadsheet. To input data in a worksheet, we have to move the cell pointer from one cell to another with the help of various keys defined in the given table. Keys function Moves one column right. Moves one column left. Moves one row up. Moves one row down. Page up. Moves the active cell highlight to first row of the spreadsheet and can be used as an alternative to scroll up the worksheet. Page down. Moves the active cell highlight to the next sheet and can be used as alternative to scroll down the worksheet. Control plus home. Moves the cell pointer to the first cell of the topmost row, that is A1. Control plus N. Moves the cell pointer to the last used cell on a spreadsheet. Let me share a few interesting shortcuts with you. We can expand or collapse the formula bar by using Ctrl plus Shift plus U key combination. To open a workbook, click on the Open option on the File tab menu or press Ctrl plus O key combination. Let us learn how to enter data. Follow the given steps to enter data in a worksheet as shown in the figure. Open a new workbook by selecting the blank workbook thumbnail from the start screen. Click on the cell D1 and type weekly expense. Now select the cell range where you entered the text. Click on the merge and center button in the alignment group on the home tab. The selected cells will be merged and the text will be centered. Click on the cell A2 and type items. Press the right arrow key. Type Monday in B2 and Tuesday in C2. Likewise, enter data in the rest of the cells as displayed in the figure. Click on the cell A3. Type Eatables and press the Enter key. The cell pointer shifts to cell A4. Type Cold Ring and press down arrow key to move to cell A5 and type Milk. Similarly, enter the remaining data. Let me share an interesting fact. To go to a specific cell, use Ctrl plus G or press F5 function key. Type the cell reference in the reference field to go to dialog box. Also note that to insert a new worksheet, press Shift plus F11. Let us talk about various types of data now. Three types of data can be entered in a Microsoft Excel worksheet which are as follows. Numbers, Text, Formulae. Numbers Numbers are values that consist of numerals from 0 to 9 and the characters like plus, minus, exclamatory sign, at, dollar, percentage, carat, and etc. They can be used in calculation. In addition to actual numbers, Excel also stores date and time as numbers. By default, numbers are right aligned in a cell. Text Text data can contain alphabets, numbers, spaces, and special characters. Text data is not used in calculation. By default, text data is left aligned in a cell. 
Most often text entries are used for worksheet headings, names and for identifying columns of data. Formulae A formula is a mathematical equation involving number, values, operators and cell addresses used for performing calculations on a worksheet. Formulae can range from basic mathematical operations to complex calculations. Formulae begin with an equal to sign. Let us understand how to perform calculations. Excel has a powerful feature to perform calculations on the data. We can perform addition, subtraction, multiplication and division of numbers either using formulas or using functions. The result of the calculation is displayed in the cell where the formula is entered. Example. To calculate the total expense in H3, type B3 plus C3 plus D3 plus E3 plus F3 plus G3 and press the Enter key. The sum of the values in the cells B3 to G3 is calculated and displayed in the cell H3. We can use either upper or lower case letters while entering the cell address in a formula. Excel also provides a quicker and easier way of performing calculations. Click on the Auto Sum button present either on the Formulas tab or the Home tab. Excel suggests a range which we can either accept or select a different range. To make use of Auto Sum option, move the cell pointer to cell H4. Click on the Auto Sum button. Excel suggests the range B4 is to G4. Accept the range by pressing Enter key. The sum of the values in cells B4 to G4 is calculated and displayed in cell H4. Note that Excel also provides special built-in mathematical functions such as sum, average, count, etc. Instead of typing such a long formula, B3 plus C3 plus D3 plus E3 plus F3 plus G3, the sum function can also be used to calculate the total expense. For example, Sum B3 is to G3 and press the Enter key. Similarly, we can use average count, maximum, minimum functions. Let us learn how to work with worksheet. Let us learn about switching between worksheets. When we add a number of worksheets, only a few worksheets can be seen on the screen. To switch between worksheets, use Ctrl plus Page Up and Ctrl plus Page Down key combination. Let us learn how to rename a worksheet. To rename a worksheet, double click the sheet tab you want to rename. It will be highlighted. Now type a new name and press the Enter key. Or right click on the sheet tab which is to be renamed and click on the rename option. Let us learn how to add a new worksheet. To add a new worksheet, select the sheet before which you want to place a new worksheet. Right click on the sheet tab and select the insert option. The insert dialog box appears with the worksheet option selected. Click OK. You will notice a new worksheet gets inserted before the selected worksheet or click on the new sheet icon present next to the sheet tab. A new worksheet will be added or select the insert then go to insert sheet option in the cells group on the home tab. Let us find out how to remove a worksheet. Place the mouse pointer on the worksheet tab that you want to delete. Right click on the sheet tab and select the delete option or select the delete then go to delete sheet option in the cells group on the home tab. Let us learn how to save a workbook now. To save a workbook follow the given steps. Click on the file tab and select the save option. The Save As pane will appear. Click on the Browse option. The Save As dialog box appears. Browse the drive and the folder where you want to save the workbook. Type the file name in the file name text box. Click on the Save button. The file will be saved with an extension .xlsx. Let me share some interesting shortcut keys with you.
You can save your file by using the Ctrl plus S key combination. You can also select Save button on the Quick Access toolbar. F12 key can also be used to save the file. Also note the fact that in Excel 2013, adding, removing, renaming, switching and saving of worksheet requires the same steps as used in Excel 2016.